Okay, today what I'm going to be doing is setting up a Doctus 3.1 cable modem on my system. I've been using Comcast modem, which they charge me each month for, but I'm going to put my own in, and again, I'm going to show you how uh, we uh, set this up. The first thing, though, we need to do is take a look in the box and see what all we get in with the cable modem from uh, Amazon. And again, it's a. I got it from Amazon. It's a uh, surf, uh, next generation Aero Surfboard Doxus 3.1 cable modem, and that we're going to set up today here and let you watch how we do this. But again, first one thing we want to do is see what all comes with this modem. And the modem says it can do up to 10 plus gigabits per second. Oh, uh, I've only got a little over one gigabit here on my system, but uh, this thing can handle um, improvements in the cable if they ever do that. Okay, here's what comes in the package, of course, the modem, and on the back of it, something I haven't seen on other modems, it's got two Ethernet ports to connect two uh, devices directly to the modem. Um, a quick start guide, a complete user manual, and if you have problems, where to call to get help, uh, an Ethernet cable. I uh, imagine that's uh, a Cat 6 Ethernet cable, and a power cable. So we're going to hook this thing up and again show you how, uh, how easy it is to hook these modems up. Basically, it's just plug and play. I plugged the uh, cable from Comcast, or screwed the cable from Comcast to back of the modem, hooked up the Ethernet cable, goes to my router, and the power cable, and we're starting to uh, get some connectivity here. So we should be hooked up uh, uh, to Comcast here uh, fairly shortly. Right now, it's going through a set of checks to see if uh, it can hook up ag again to Comcast. It's got to send its MAC address. Got to be hooked up Comcast through the MAC address of the modem uh, before we'll have any internet. And it looks like we're getting pretty close to having internet through the Aries uh, surfboard. Uh, Doxus 3.1 modem uh, that I ordered from Amazon. So, again, it's going to be just a few minutes before we're completely hooked up. Okay, we're starting to get an internet connection, and we should have a full internet connection here in a few minutes. So, um, everything should be starting to. Um, Cook here, <laughs> if you will. And we should see some movement here. We have we have good internet on the modem activating your services. <laughs> so again, this doesn't take very long. The biggest thing all set. Um see. Oh, they're, they're going to restart my modem, um, and they're restarting it now over to Comcast, and we, again, we should be all hooked up here in just a few moments, and everything will be, I'll be on my modem, and uh, again, we'll be all set up. <laughs> And, uh, and on my modem, and I'll return this modem to Comcast and get that $10 a month charge removed from my account. But it takes them a few minutes to reset the modem and uh, go through that. But again, what they had to do was uh, configure the, the MAC address of this modem had to be configured at Comcast before um, everything was all set up. What I had to do would go to www.surfboard.com, and that's uh, let's see here. That's the site here, 
uh, to put in my uh, user password or an, an account number or something else that they wanted. But I used my user password, which was easier for me to remember, and uh, to get this modem set up. And we're just about completely set up on the modem. It uh, looks like we're all set up. And again, uh, the modem I got uh, from Amazon was the next generation Air Surfboard uh, Roxas of 3.1 cable modem. And again, it's all hooked up uh, to Comcast now. It was pretty easy to do. Uh, plug in the cables uh, and then uh, hook the power up and then uh, use the uh, uh, website www.surfboard.com to put in my uh, Comcast password, uh, a username and password, and in a few minutes it connected up to uh, Comcast. And now, again, once again, we got internet here. So if you have any questions, about how to set these up, but it's again pr pretty easy. But again, it's pr really easy to set up. Again, if you have any questions, uh, let me know down in the comments. And so, from Pendleton, Indiana, hoping you have a great day. Uh, this is George Price.